Hello HEMA friends! Today we will get back to 133 Sodenbachler. More in the specific, we will see the Duschtreten, which is named but not explained in the first Falling Under folio. Now, my interpretation of the 133 is changed a lot in the last years, and I have radically changed my view of the book from a collection of techniques to a system of training exercises. So we will see now only one of the possible applications of this Duschtreten, based on my personal interpretation of the form of this action, but also on my personal interpretation of the overall functioning of the manual itself. I am planning to write a book about my interpretation of the manual, so maybe in the future you will be able to have a better understanding of my takes. Without further discussions, let's see our defensive Durstraten. Now, this action is shown as one of the four possible counters to a counterbind and step action. In the previous video, which you may find linked at the end of this one, I explained the Durstraten as a cavazione motion. This motion is executed by rotating the wrist and, if needed, by slightly lowering the forearm. When the opponent starts to counterbind, we execute our cavazione motion, or Durstraten, to thrust between the opponent's hands. We execute this action during the tempo of the opponent's counterbind and step motion. In the exercise you are watching right now, Nicola executes his counterbind and shield strike in slightly different ways. I try to execute my Durstraten while I feel is the right situation. In an idealistic real situation, when the sword starts to pierce the opponent's body, we may enter close toward him with a step, taking care of his sword arm with our buckler. In this way, we reduce the chance of the opponent to use his sword in an efficient way. After that, we may go for a wrestling action or a disarm, leaving our sword inside the opponent's body. This simple action is a counter for the first shield strike, which is the first and very basic aggressive technique executed with the shield instead of the sword. The counterbinder can negate this action to the opponent in two ways. The first one is keeping the weapons next to each other to better close the center line. The second one is keeping the buckler at chest height, showing the flat of the buckler to the opponent which helps closing up these insidious angles. But of course, this will open up the chance for other defensive techniques. So, we have seen together my Durstraten interpretation, and we will keep going with 133 in the next videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, if you want to help this channel grow up, you can do it in three ways. The first one is sharing this video in the social media network. The second one is, of course, subscribe to this channel if you have not already done it. And uh, the third one, if you want to help me even more, you can join my Patreon community. You can find the link of my page in the video description. Again. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.